Hi, this is Mandy from Sunflowers and Doors. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I was working with some kind of trying to clear some of the stuff that I've got on my desk um, and some of my scraps. Um, just dealing in their group, um, our Facebook group, information below, um, did a Sayonara Scraps um, series in June. And um, I have had these for forever um, and I haven't just haven't known what to do with them, to be honest. So um, they've kind of been put in a back <coughs> cupboard and um, yeah, I've just come across them again. <laughs> so I'm going to have a little play with some of these and the idea is literally just really simple play and we will use them for either um journal cards or possibly i don't know um pockets whatever it is um kind of takes our fancy so i am going to be using a number of stamps today i don't use stamps enough but i do uh, when I see them, absolutely love the effects. So I do need to start getting <clears throat> more and more into stamps. Um, definitely, definitely. So I've got at the moment this set from Tim Holtz. I don't know which set it is, but everything keeps falling off every time I turn it over. Uh, it's Field Notes. And I've also got this from one of Tim Holtz. I think this is like a stationary one. I can't remember what the set is. So I'll be using these. I'm not using those. Um, you can see I'm still working on the daisy kit, so all oh, that's all over the place, but hey-ho. And I will also be working with some of the vintage washi paper I made recently. There is a video on that if you haven't got it. And I will also be using some of the new Tim Holtz. These used to be photo booth ones, but these are now called something else. They're slightly bigger than the photo booth. Um... Yeah, they are slightly bigger, but um, they're great for this type of project. So I'm looking for a certain, I'm looking for one with more of the yellowy colour background. Um, could work as well. That one could work. Okay, so we've got a couple there to choose from. This is super quick, super simple. If you don't have the stamps, um, you can improvise or you can even, sorry, everything's falling all over my desk. It's not a good look. Or you can even draw some of the stuff. Um, you can make some faux stamps, duly from uh, Jules Designs. Did a series recently on making some faux stamps and they were fabulous. You could even use corrugated, do you know the corrugated type card that comes in? I'll show you now. Um, Right, okay, this kind of stuff. You could cut a section of that, ink that, and use that. Your lines are going to be thicker, but it's still quite a good look, so that's another option. Okay, so, um, literally, we're just going to have a bit of a play, I think. So these are really old colour. You can't really see how old colour they are. They're more of a coffee type creamy colour but um, I do like them so um, I'm going to start off with just putting some background stuff on here and then we'll come back to the actual finer detail I think so I do want to use this I'm using stays on jet black I haven't got much of it left to be honest it's quite um, dry so I do need to order another one. But you know when you sometimes get those things and you think, do you know what, I really, it's not, it's not a priority. That's the kind of thing this is. So I'm only putting that there because there's going to be a picture. You're not going to be able to see the rest of it. Um, I've also actually got another stamp, which is from the same kit as this. Um, and this is like all numbers and stuff on it. So I'm going to 
use this one. I probably should have used some of the, um, I've got a new sepia, six sepia colour. That would have looked pretty cool. Okay. And I'm just going to pop that, I think, over here. I do clean my stamps up, believe it or not. Um, just not straight after, which is the best time to do it. Oh, that's upside down. That was clever. And I'm not overly happy with the colour on that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this away. And I'm going to do exactly the same, but I'm going to use a... I've got a timber brown in this, which is a, a lot juicier, I think. So I'm going to use that one instead. And I can use the card for something else that I've got planned later today. Let's just double check that. Yeah, this should be okay. And it's just a nice dark brown, so it should give us a nice kind of effect. There we go, much better, and it even looks black, so that's good. Okay, then I'm going to use this one again, and I'm just going to put some ink. In fact, because this is working, the ink is working so well, I'm going to put the ink all the way down on this one, like that. And I am going to put this on here, like that. Ah, don't spill. There we go. And we're going for the um, old look because we're going very vintage with this. So that's all good. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do before I do anything else is I'm going to choose one of these. I, I want to go with the darker colour, so it's either that one there, that one there, that one there. Now, I think I'm going to go with one of those two. And I think I'm going to go with this one. The other one's got a bit of a smile on his face which isn't the look we're going for. So I'm just going to cut some of this excess off here, just so it's more even. And I am going to glue that So yeah, I don't know whether you are going to use these, whether you use them as journal cards or pockets. I suppose you could use them as either. Um, yeah, they'd make quite a cool pocket going in that way and this bit sticking out of your journal page is an option. Um, then I've got this faux washi that I uh, made. Now, I, I, this is the one I did on glassine bag that's the one I did on um, tape but it's so so glossy it's great for certain projects but I just really liked the muted down version that was done on um, the glassine bag so I'm going to go for that and I'm just picking off a couple of pieces and I'm going to pop those just on two of the corners here just so it looks a little bit more vintage. Like, oops. Like that. And I also, I think, want another piece over here. Just a random piece 
just to break the color in across the page, I think. I'm gonna put that there like that. Okay, so far so good. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm gonna use some of my stamps. The first one I'm gonna use is Identification Check. Or, yeah, Identification Check. I don't know how I got ink all over me already, but I'm gonna pop that there. Like that. And then I'm going to, let's pop these out of the way. I'm going to just then choose a couple of random stamps and pop them on here, different places. So this one here is always one of my favorites. So pop that there. And I'm also gonna pop that there. And then I'm going to go for this one here. always liked this one as well, just because it's... Oh, that's upside down. I always think this is really interesting, this one. Don't ask me why. Just... Um, I don't know. Just two. Okay. Then I'm going to go for some chunky numbers. And I'm going to put that over here. Like that. Gosh, this brown is so much juicier than the other ones I used. I'll show you the, the others, but they look really bare in comparison. Um... Do I want anything else? I think that's okay for now. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of my Tim Holtz snippets. And I'm just looking for something that I might be able to use in here. It might be usable. But nothing, it hasn't got to be anything too. That might be. Um, That'll be done work. And like I said, it hasn't got to be anything too. Um, just whatever you think feels right for the project, you know? No, I'm going to go for that one instead of those. And... Okay. So I've chosen one here that says form two, three, two, one, one, whatever. And I'm just going to pop that somewhere. Like that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some stamps. I have got a load of stamps that I never know what to do with. But they actually look really good, I think, on this type of project so I think that's a bit too busy there but I might get away with one over here perhaps that feels a little bit too uniformed it's gonna get there I think So I'm just going to pop that on there, a bit of an angle as though it's just being kind of dropped on there. And then the other thing, I have got a teeny tiny little um, tag that I've just put a stamp on. I was going to use it for another one, but I think I'm going to use it for this one here now. So I need to pop a bit of a hole in here.
Let's get some eyelets. This is really cool for a mass make type project as well, really is. Um, so lots of options with this one. If you don't have eyelets, you don't have to add it. You can just add a piece of um, whatever, to be honest. So that, um, yeah, whatever works for you. So the next thing I'm going to attach this, now I've only got, this is just some thread I use for book binding. Oops, a daisy. i close that before that one dries up as well. I'm hoping this is going to work. It's um, slightly wax threaded, so it sticks a little bit nicer. Um, I'm going to, I think, put a little bit of a knot here first. Like that and then I can pop this in here put a bit of a knot on this one too oh gosh ribbons and laces and strings are just really not my friend when crafted. Um, cut a bit of that excess off. And then what I'm gonna do, I think, I probably should have done this beforehand. I'm just gonna get a little bit of um, ink I've got on here. I'm not putting anything fresh on, it's just a little bit of ink I had just to um, darken that, some of the color on that give it more of a vintage look and I think I'm also going to use some vintage photo and just go around the end just to grungy it up a little bit Then what I did with the other one is I wanted to put a coffee stain on here. So I'm going to do that. You again using the vintage photo. I'm just going to pop that on there. So somebody's been a little bit lackadaisy with their coffee. Um, I don't know whether I like it, but it's done. So I'm just going to put some here just to blend it in a bit more. Okay. So that is it. As I said, you can use it as a bookmark. You can use it as um, a page border. Uh, like a little tag, tab, tag, tab, tab, tag, that you could put in your journal. So you could attach that by a paper clip or whatever and just keep that on the outside. That would look pretty cool. You could have it as a pocket. You could have it just as a journal card and pop it inside a pocket. Um, I mean, it'll go with lots of different journals, probably th things like more older journals, crime scene journals, those types of things. But you can do this in lots and lots of different ways. So that is one that we've just done. Get rid of this. So that is one that we've just done now. There's another one there, which is a little bit cleaner, a little bit less busy. Another one there. Another one there. Another one there. And that one obviously bringing a little bit of extra colour and another one there. I think so far they're probably my favourite two. Um, but you can see the difference between the muted 
stamping and the fresher stamping. I like them both, to be honest. Um, I do like them both, but they give you a very, very different look. But yeah, that is a simple, I don't know, journal card with the option for it to be a um, pocket or could you use a text spot, a page border, um, sticky out tab, whatever you wanted to use it for. But yeah, really like that. I've seen quite a few people work on similar sort of stuff. Um, <clears throat> one of them was Tony Crafting, Crafty with Tony. Um, and she's done a lot of this kind of thing recently. Um, and I really, really liked it. So um, yeah, absolutely great for mass makes, lots of fun. Great for using up some of your scraps. Um, somebody did give me a hint, a tip once about <clears throat> creating this kind of look here. Um, and they used the, I don't know if you've got the um, envelope board, but they used that to create that on either side and then just cut across. I thought it was really clever. Um, but because I had these already, I decided just to give it a go. So yeah, some mass makes um, that are going to go straight in my stash and uh, hopefully will find themselves in a journal fairly soon. I'll leave it there. Until next time, as always, stay safe, be well, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.